33 major gay men in world history who changed our world. Over the past half century, same-sex love has increasingly been paraded and is no longer perceived as something forbidden. However, this does not mean that unconventional relationships were invented quite recently. History knows many examples of same-sex relationships. Here are the 33 major gay men in world history that will change your perspective on the past. Julius Caesar When Julius Caesar became emperor, Senator Cicero accused the head of state of prostitution. Literally, Caesar made a springboard out of his ass for a state career. He spent huge money from the state treasury to buy young boys with a lush shock of hair on their heads, but exclusively hairless breasts. Abraham Lincoln According to one hypothesis, Lincoln was a hidden gay and married only for career reasons. This is confirmed by the too close relationship between Mr. President and the captain of the bodyguards, Davis Derrickson, whose thighs the president spoke of as ideal. Marlon Brando In 2018, Jennifer Pryor, the widow of American comedian Richard Pryor, stated that her husband had had a sexual relationship with actor Marlon Brando. Pryor explained the comedian's behavior by using cocaine. It was the 70s. The drugs were still of high quality. With enough cocaine in your body, you would fuck the battery and send her flowers the next morning, she said. Alec Guinness. He played Obi-Wan Kenobi in George Lucas' famous space epic Star Wars. His friends and relatives knew about the actor's bisexuality. They agreed to discuss this topic only after the death of Guinness, respecting his right to privacy of his personal life. One of Sir Alex's biographers found out that in 1946 the aspiring actor was accused of an act of homosexuality. James Dean Marlon Brando and James Dean were among the main sex symbols of the golden age of Hollywood, but according to James Dean, tomorrow never comes, there was much more to them. Biographical writers Darwin Porter and Danworth claim that the actors were lovers. The book is based on the memories of friends, colleagues and journalists who knew and worked with James Dean until 1955, when he died in an accident at the age of 24. Eleanor Roosevelt The published diaries and letters of Mrs. Roosevelt tell that an exemplary wife and mother, a human rights activist, spent many happy hours in the arms of Lorena Hickett. Roosevelt had a weakness for a journalist who loved to smoke cigars, under 80 meters tall and weighing under 100 kilograms, who, incidentally, also fought for human rights. Greta Garbo Biographers came to the conclusion that if she was not a lesbian, then she was definitely bisexual. Moreover, some of her partners openly admitted in relations with Garbo. First it was actress Lillian Teshman, then Fifi Dorsey, and the writer Mercedes Diacosta even released a memoir in which she frankly spoke about her relationship with Garbo, as well as Isadora Duncan and Marlene Dietrich. William Shakespeare Shakespeare got married as a result of a heterosexual experiment, William Shakespeare at the age of 34, and found that in Sonnet 20, he sings a person who turned out to be a guy, but he was beautiful, like a girl. Your love belongs to me, although you were created to please women, William confesses to his sweetheart. John Crawford John is said to have had lesbian relationships with various Hollywood actresses, including Marlene Dietrich and Marilyn Monroe. Writer Fleming claims MGM had to pay blackmailers dollar to stop Crawford's lesbian porn release before she became famous. By Tchaikovsky the love of all life of Piet Ilyich Tchaikovsky, landowner Vladimir Shilovsky, who sponsored the composer and took him around Europe at his own expense. But the lover's happiness did not last long. As a young man, Shilovsky died of consumption. But according to the preserved correspondence between Tchaikovsky and his brother Modest, also gay, you can shoot a film. He wrote to his brother, I remember Volodya all the time, I dream about him every night. Anthony Perkins Psycho star Anthony Perkins was a married man with two children. Yet his longest-running romantic homosexual relationship is reported to have been with actor Tab Hunter. According to Hollywood pimp Scotty Bowers, Perkins has been with many men. 
Bowers says of Perkins, he always wanted someone special. Clark Gable. A man who was so famous that he was called the King of Hollywood. Before becoming the star of Gone with the Wind, he traded himself for a successful career. In David Brett's book Clark Gable, Tormented Star, the writer claims that Gable was gay for his paycheck and loved to have sex for dollars. Catherine Hepburn Hollywood pimp Scotty Bowers claims that Hepburn dated girls once or twice and then got tired of them. However, one young beauty named Barbara maintained a relationship with Hepburn for 49 years. As Bowers says, ironically, she almost never had sex with them. Catherine was obsessed with cleanliness and was careful about her health. George Washington American President George Washington married exclusively under pressure from society, and then a 28-year-old widow with two children. Despite this, he had a lifelong relationship with Alexander Hamilton, his secretary and speechwriter, who began working at the Washington home at age 19. Alexander I the next blue ruler is Alexander I, which is confirmed by the preserved correspondence of the king. Napoleon Bonaparte once admitted, Alexander is the most handsome man who lives on earth. It's a shame that he is gay, because many French women would like to try his body. Hans Christian Andersen. The writer led a secluded life, and never had a wife, friends, or lovers. The only sexual experience of a child storyteller was sex with a 14-year-old boy. Hans could not forget this incident in his entire life and, under the impression after that, wrote a fairy tale about the hero Ole Luka. Yaroslav Hasek. The former Red Commissar became famous more thanks to his immortal soldier Schweig, rather than revolutionary activities. There is not a single main protagonist in the book. Not a single story is told by Schweik about his sexual adventures, all intrigues take place with other characters. This is because Hasek was a homosexual, and Schweik wrote off a lot from himself. Ernst Rem. This is the only person in the world who was with Hitler on you. Ernst Rem was the founder of the Saw Assault Troops, a fascist structure and matched until 1934. In this saw, the cult of the male body reigned strong and beautiful, which led to the fact that all the structure consisted of blue and the Warhol, the father of pop art. His portraits of the dollar and Coca-Cola are known throughout the world. He invented phone sex and called it the only pure kind of sex. And the Warhol's personal life remained a mystery. Many people said that Andy was gay. Many of his works, in which one could find homosexual themes, hinted at this. However, Warhol himself always said that he was a virgin. Richard the Lionheart. He was by no means a knight for ladies, his heart finally and irrevocably belonged to the French king Philip I Augustus, with whom he became friends at the age of 23 so close that he shared one bed with him for a year. Together they survived quite a bit, even organized a crusade against Jerusalem, but the most banal jealousy destroyed their relationship. Philip could not forgive his lover that his people loved much more than the king. Leonardo da Vinci Along with the genius throughout his life, not a single woman was recorded, except for his mother and stepmother. But almost all of Leonardo's students, who were not distinguished by talent, were exceptionally handsome young men. One of them attracts special attention. In 1490 Leonardo writes in his diary, Giacomo came to live with me. He is 10 years old. Frida Kahlo. A respectable wife did not work out of her. She drank, smoked, cursed, started romances, including Lisby. The famous Mexican singer and openly lesbian Chavela Vargas was a close friend and, as many claim, the mistress of the artist Frida Kahlo and her husband Diego Rivera. Lord Byron George Gordon Byron was bisexual, he loved both women and men. Byron's love for boys began with Lord Clare and was the longest. Even now, when I hear the name Clare, the poet wrote later in his memoirs, My Heart Beats, and I write this name, remembering 1803-1805 to infinity. Francis Bacon an alcoholic, a gambler, a homosexual, a creator of horror and a translator of depressive images. All this is Francis Bacon. 
He became a regular in London's Bohemian Soho district. Here, throwing aside class barriers in pubs and nightclubs, beggar artists and prosperous businessmen, lords and prostitute boys, prominent intellectuals and soldiers, the top of society and the London bottom met in pubs and nightclubs. Oscar Wilde Wilde has long contrived to combine the traditional role of the father of the family with homosexual relationships. Lord Alfred Douglas, Bosey, became his fatal passion. Wilde did not consider it necessary to hide his love for Bosey, for which in 1895 he was sentenced to two years in hard labor. After his release in May 1897, the writer moved to France. Marcel Proust French writer Marcel Proust never openly admitted his homosexuality, fearing to hurt his beloved mother. Nevertheless, the writer devoted hundreds of pages of his novel series, In Search of Lost Time, to the topic of homosexual love, including that of women. Thomas Mann In a number of his works, for example, in the story, Death in Venice, there are homoerotic motives. The writer himself, a baptized Jew, never publicly admitted to being gay, and carefully tried to hide it, trying to be an exemplary husband and father of six children. Christian Dior The man who understood women best of all and was not at all interested in them, Christian Dior became the creator of the new look style in the second half of the 40s. After two world wars, European women seemed to have forgotten about jewelry, heels and other luxuries. In 1947, Christian Dior proposed a return to femininity and tightened women's waists into corsets and returned fluffy skirts to the catwalk.